So Boston was able to, they had no way of replacing Gordon Hayward. Um, they could have brought him back with bird rights, but they had no cap space, no avenue to bring in um, another sort of starting caliber wing. So instead they shifted their um, focus to a center and they were able to sign Tristan Thompson for the mid-level, two years, 19 million. Um, and then they used either the biannual exception or the minimum. Um, I think it was the minimum to bring in Jeff Teague from Atlanta. And those were kind of their two biggest signings. Interesting. Of free agency. And then obviously Aaron Neesmith and Peyton Pritchard from the draft are going to be the other two um, guys we see playing for the Celtics this year. You think uh, Jeff Teague's um, a upgrade from Brad? No, I don't think so. I kind of like Brad Wanamaker a little bit better at this point, especially on defense. I just kind of wanted to talk about the center for Mm -hmm. the Celtics. And I just think this, like I said, was a disaster. I think Danny Ainge completely mismanaged this because what you end up with is Tristan Thompson making nine and a half million dollars a year. And when you think about it, three hours before free agency opened, they traded Ennis Cantor making $5 million to Portland. Like you, you think Ennis Cantor on a $5 million contract, you think they'd want that back now? I mean, yeah. Yeah. They could have had miles Turner for, yeah, that's what I was just about to say. If you could have miles Turner, dude. And they ended up, and they ended up with Tristan Thompson for nine and a half. I don't, I don't even think Tristan Thompson's better than Ennis Cantor. He has a few specific skills which are probably more valuable to Boston's defensive concepts as mm-hmm. opposed to in his character being a um, one dimensional problem. Yeah. Probably well below average defender. So, I mean, I can kind of understand if you like Tristan Thompson better in that scheme than in his canter, but for 4 million more and for one year longer, I sheesh um, just, I just think this is a bit of a mess for Boston. I think they'll certainly be worse than they were last year, barring any major improvements from one of either Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum. That's for sure. Yeah. What else does their roster look like? They've got Marcus. Yep. So basically if we just run through the roster point guard is Kimball Walker, Jeff Mm -hmm. Payton Pritchard shooting guard. You've got Marcus smart and Aaron Smith and Romeo Langford Uh, forwards, Jason Tatum, You've got Grant Williams, Simeo Jale. Um, what about Jalen? Yeah, Jalen Brown. Yeah. Um, and then centers, you've got Tice, Robert Williams, um, Tristan Thompson. So they're still, they're still going to be a good team. They're still going to be top four in the East. I just kind of think they can't help but think. Bro, you put Kemb, I mean, you put Miles Turner at the five with Kemba. Um, Jalen and Tatum and then Marcus that's a good lineup oh yeah definitely it's a nice I, lineup I would have sprinted to sign the I would have sprinted to the phone to agree to that trade if I was Danny Ainge yeah um, and also um, like you were saying Doug McDermott he's a big guy that can shoot and yeah. like the, the, that it seems been- like that's their that's their that's their bread and butter that's what they look for so that's interesting that they wouldn't hop on that yeah, especially like if you play him instead of Simeogela, you get a lot of Simeogela's best traits in Grant Williams. And so I think it might be nice to have at least one shooting specialist next to those guys, which I mean, hopefully Aaron Neesmith can step up and fill that role right away. But Doug McDermott, I think, would have been a nice guy for them to at least have on their bench. Facts, yeah. I still think that they, as long as you got Tatum and Brown, you got a shot. And Marcus Smarts, he's scrappy, dude. Yeah, absolutely. This is still going to be a very good team. Yeah, but who knows if? Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm really interested to see what Peyton Pritchard does because I think he honestly could be decent, dude. I don't know. I would love to see him take the backup point guard role from Jeff Teague before the end of the year. Yeah, it's interesting because I remember Jeff Teague was kind of a stud, but has he just? He's always just kind of been. Yeah. He's a little bit aging out of yeah. his 